Where does one begin when they look back at the influential events of the 1300s? How must they explain exactly what influenced the society at that time? Natural disasters, disease, and economic collapse can all be used when describing the brutal time of the 13th century in Europe. This century took a beating time and time again, and unfortunately, many didn't come out alive. It began with the big chill that brought rain, floods, and agricultural disaster and starvation along with it. Many believe Noah's flood was on its way. This is how many dealt with the natural disasters and upsetting occurrences they found themselves caught in. They used religion to explain why these horrible things were happening, to provide an explanation and maybe pray to God that his holy wrath would come to an ease and provide them with protection. For during this time, many believed the answer to their problems was to follow the words of their Lord and security would be brought to them. The 1300s display religion not only as an explanation to situations they could not explain, but also as the only thing people really had at a time of loss. The evolution of religion throughout Europe's history shows the 1300s as a time when religious belief is the most dominant in a society because of the tragic events of the bubonic plague that took place during this time period. The biggest event that led to the dominance of religion over society was the bubonic plague. It was 1348 that the plague hit Europe. Many had already been suffering from loss of food, money, and crops. The plague brought more suffering than a time period could imagine. Before Black Death, people were separated by social classes in which they didn't have a commonality. The bubonic plague was indiscriminate and affected all classes no matter their social standing. The realization was that they were alike in one aspect, that being, no one could escape death and it could strike anyone no matter their standings in society. Often art during this time period reflects the idea that money and power will not stop death from finally claiming its victims. A few art pieces depicting this concept went by the name of Dance of Death and were created by Hans Holbein. These pieces show people from all different walks of life being taken by a personified skeleton. This shows that no matter where you stand in society, no one is above death. Feudalism created a separation between classes, not only in wealth, but also in social standings. The plague created one nation of people who would soon all face the same fate. Money and wealth seemed to no longer take precedence over religion because the plague was indiscriminate. This disease was completely unknown. The only way many could explain what was going on in the world around them was through religion. Many people believed during these times that the plague was God's punishment towards humanity for their sins. One may have taken extreme action during this time to rid them of their sins. Men called the flagellants, who were religious zealots of the Middle Ages in Europe, demonstrated their religious fever and sought atonement for their sins by vigorously whipping themselves in public. Although religion was all many people had during this time of loss, some did begin to question a God who could cause so much suffering. Many individuals upheld their Christian beliefs, but due to the lack of priests, the infected were left with no spiritual guidance. Society's problems at the time were within the churches. The dedicated and devoted priests who held reverence to their position would stay for the people looking to confess their sins. Being around the infected made them very susceptible to the disease, and often they would contract the plague themselves. The bad priests, however, would leave in hopes to avoid the bubonic plague. By the end of the plague epidemic, there was a shortage of good priests because many had been infected and died. This left the churches corrupt and many questioning their faith. It was hard for one to understand where God had gone and why he had given up on humanity. Ultimately, the bubonic plague religiously influenced the Middle Ages more than any other event in history. An epidemic spread by fleas brought a continent almost to the point of collapse. Because of this disease, people were left with nothing but the hope that in another life they would be given mercy. Black Death is a perfect example of how one event in history can affect a nation so drastically it changes the beliefs the society holds and manipulates the structure of how the society works.